What's up, Wargamers? More information out of Warhammer Fest this Saturday morning. <clears throat> and if you're a big 40k player, you might be intrigued by a brand new game coming from Games Workshop called Adeptus Titanicus. I, first, I thought that this was going to be a new faction of which you'd be able to bring in those gigantic titans that usually stand 18 to 36 inches tall and cost hundreds to even thousands of dollars from Forge World. So they announced here, and we'll let this video play, but they're teasing from the darkness of the Horus Heresy comes a brand new game, and Games Workshop is a workshop making games right now, and that's for dang sure. So in the teaser, they're showing you the Forge World models. They're going through, and they don't tell you anything about the game, but they're showing it in full scale. So here you are thinking that, oh my gosh, we're finally going to have people playing $500 Titans, $1,200 Titans, you name it. But then, a sigh of relief, we go into the Warhammer Community blog. And here at Warhammer Fest, apparently you can get your picture taken with your face in the Adeptus Titanicus. Either that or they just copy-pasted. I think they copy-pasted, but it would be cool if you could have stuck your head in it. I think I interpreted that wrong. Then you finally get a sense of the scale. Like, woo! Okay, so Adeptus Titanicus is going to be on the epic scale, maybe six millimeter, whatever scale you refer to that. Um, so they're not gonna be very large at all. I think those might even be 32, maybe 40 millimeter bases. So we'll scroll past all the other news. If you're into Blood Bowl, there's some Dark Elves coming out. There's a lot of other cool things coming. New new pitches, things like that. Forge World's got some other um, additions to different gangs, but looks like House Cawdor is finally getting teased for Necromunda, so stay tuned for those guys if you guys are a big fan of Necromunda. But there's the teaser video for Adeptus Titanicus. Here they are again, apparently showing full size. But then you get into it, and these don't appear to be that large. So these this would be like a, a gigantic titan if that were the case. But they're quite a bit smaller, so we've got like Reaver Titans and stuff like that. And then here we can have some solace in seeing that this is the size of the battlefield, probably a 4x4 four four of which they're they're playing um, some of the demo games of Adeptus Titanicus. So it's going to be available in plastic and everything from your knights to the warlord itself are going to be available in the game with highly posable kits that capture the intricate mechanical detail of their larger counterparts. So if you were doubting whether or not I was right on this being a miniaturized game, yes they are going to be miniaturized, but look there's quite a bit of detail in there and they look like they were originally 3D printed models that were um, turned in because or at least I'm thinking that because of some of the striations I'm seeing with that could even be part of the paint job but here you go these are Imperial Knights um, no you can't proxy these on the battlefield against me in place of their full size and then there's a lot more so it looks like there's even death models coming out for Age of Sigmar for that new edition and some other cool stuff so we're gonna have a lot we're not gonna be able to cover it all but Adeptus Titanicus is gonna be one of those short and sweet games of which people are gonna be able to clash it out one thing I don't necessarily like about it, I mean, it, it is cool models. It does give you something to paint up. Maybe it will make other players aspire to, like, this will be like this, the sample of crack from a drug dealer. You'll now want to buy your larger upscale counterpart for hundreds of dollars from Forge World. But I think it might even get more people into buying the Imperial Knights for Warhammer 40,000. That's to be determined. But it's fun that there is a standalone game. Hopefully the cost is somewhat reasonable. Um, Epic 40,000 was something that started off being very cost effective, especially when you had the, um, gosh, what were those small little boxes with all the plastic in it? 20 bucks, 16 bucks back in the day. Um, but then it got out of hand with all the pewter editions and the Thunderhawk gunships and things like that. Just like any other good old war game out there. So comment below what your thoughts are on Adeptus Titanicus. Are you let down that it's coming out in a miniature scale? Are you let down that it's a standalone game, that it's not going to be a faction that you could play yet in 40K? We'll say yet, but it is going to be coming out in August of 2018, so just a few months away towards the end of summer. At least it's the end of summer if you don't live in Arizona, because our summer ends about um, early December. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button, and if you're watching for the first time, definitely subscribe.